Welcome back to the lab, y'all. It is your old Professor Pilk, and I've got a fun one for you guys today. Now, we have another 7-star raid finally incoming, and that is going to be Delphox. Uh, and I want to have a little discussion about this. Now, first things first, Delphox is going to have a Fairy-type Terra, which is going to be interesting. That means the only weaknesses she's really going to have are going to be uh, Poison and Steel. But because natively she is a Psychic Fire-type, that means... You're definitely going to have both those types of moves. So, obviously, Steel is out because of Fire, and uh, Psychic is out because, uh, or I'm sorry, Poison is out because of Psychic. So, you're not really going to have an option here to be super effective. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to work on some moves that are neutral, but Mon that can buff. Now, the really good news is, because Pokemon Home is open, you have all different types of Pokemon you could bring in. We just did some testing with the old Chestnut Raid that uh, with a couple of the legendaries, you know, things like that. You are going to have some major options at your disposal here and some pretty fun ones. So we could definitely build out. And if you have specific mod that you want to see, comment down below. Maybe we'll be able to come up with some good builds for the, some of those really interesting Pokemon. I really go outside the box on this one. Now, so that's the good news. The interesting thing is this is a Pokemon that is already transferable. Now, I had planned a video on this, and I'll just go ahead and just, I guess, briefly touch on it here. But 7-star raids kind of aren't going to really be... They're not going to be interesting if you're not introducing brand new Pokemon into the franchise. So what I was going to say, and then the whole point in the video that I was going to make here is that going into seven star raids in the future where we have all these crazy Pokemon now that we can use from, you know, other generations, you know, all the way back to some, even the, on the DS, like the remakes of gen one on the DS, we can even pull some of those Pokemon into our game now, which is super interesting and super awesome. But here's kind of the, my hang up here. If we're going after a Pokemon that can easily be transferred from another game, your interest level in this Pokemon is probably fairly low. Now, let me say this. This will be a rare-ish Pokemon to see in some people's bins here in a couple of years. And when there's you know a new Pokemon game down the pike and it eventually does get connected to home or whatever transferable uh, app is up at the time, then... When you see a Delphox, it'll be interesting to see people that got a Delphox specifically from this raid, uh, especially shiny ones from Leg or from Scarlet and Violet are all going to be tagged with that Scarlet and Violet, uh, I, I guess, identifier. So every Pokemon that you get from Scarlet and Violet right now will be identified as a Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. If you've ever gone into Pokemon Home, you'll see that each game has its own individual icon, and so it'll be pretty obvious where it came from. So there will be that, you know, the Mightiest Mark and all that stuff. It'll be interesting to be fun to, to fun and have and whatever. But that novelty is going to wear off pretty quick. So what I was really going to say is what I, what I thought would be really, really fun is going forward, what they need to do you know game freak and all them they need to introduce pokemon that are not yet transferable that would mean a major update basically before every single terror raid but it would prevent these pokemon from being transferred prior to the event and then in essence the only way you can acquire them for now is through the terror raid event now, there are people that aren't going to like that, but the honest answer is, essentially, once these Pokemon go live in-game, then they could be transferable or whatever. But it gives us a reason to, to essentially hammer down to these 7-star raids. Whereas with Delphox, I kind of see the, the interest level in this one probably waning quite a bit. Most people that want Delphox probably already have it. Um, and have transferred it in from one of the other games. I was thinking about it. But honestly, I'm going to go into this. I'm going to do the best I can because I think having a Delphox with the Scarlet and Violet and, and the Mightiest Mark basically from Scarlet and Violet itself will be an interesting take. I've seen some very interesting Mon come from other games into Scarlet and Violet at this point. So I think that's one of those things that's going to be kind of seen as a, a rare treat when those later games come out. So definitely go after Delphox. 
Um, we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about Pokemon. And like I said, if you have recommendations, put them down below. Uh, but some unorthodox builds, because you guys know I love these unorthodox builds, that you may be able to take into this event and just really have a ton of fun. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be back with more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet coming up really soon.